this is uh, early access pre-alpha I get my microphone close to me hello guys this is early access pre-alpha content currently it's currently um, supported through the Epic Games game client. It's the same as, you know, you've got Steam and everything like this. Epic Games has decided to be okay with uh, play to earn NFT games. And we're gonna go, we're gonna enter our password here. If I can remember it off by heart. I think I will because it's a pretty iconic step. I remembered the password, so here's my... I hope you're ready for this. This is Star Atlas Pre-Alpha And this beginning, um, I mean, people are saying, people are saying, oh, it's like Star Citizen. It reminds me, well, you got to remember that it's blockchain technology here. It's a little bit more than Star Citizen that never got off the ground. Okay, it's going to start off like that. Okay, well, when you first come in here, you, you start off... We're going to try and have it, um, oh, maybe not from that side. What was it? Hmm. Where did they start people off? I'm gonna run into the wilderness. How long can I go? Oh, there's a wall. There's an invisible wall. Yeah. There's an invisible wall. So you get off your little tram, space tram, and you run up into this majestic building. And for you, it will be um, blank. But you don't have, you you can't get into this unless you have been staking um, on the Star Atlas website. Um, I'll try and put the link in the description. All of the links in the description that you'll need. And actually, what I want to do is I want to just turn the level of the music down because it feels like I'm sort of shouting. Um, I think it's the music's a bit loud. So, yeah, let's do it like that. So, there's not so many options in the, um, when it comes to, to graphics. I put my graphics to high. And unfortunately, you can see that there's this motion blur. It's got motion blur, and I can't see an option for taking that away. But what you do have is you have uh, photo mode, and you can toggle the hood off like this with a tab. And you know, you can go forward, up, in space. And you can go all around. This is the this is my ship. This belongs to me. This um this is a, a PS6, and it's pretty large. I mean, like you can imagine in there, you're gonna have a little. You could at least probably have a little sleeping quarters and some. Um, definitely have some storage space, and of course you've got your uh, your main. Um, weapons, your hard points, uh, 
This is a PS6, and I, I love I love the way it's very sleek in design, and it belongs to me. And there's lots of other players, and it, it could if you set it up properly, you, you could have this that actually belongs to you. It's not just some graphics in a game. This belongs to me. It is mine. I can sell it if I want. Okay. I can do missions in it and I can play the game in this and if I want to I can sell it on the open market because it belongs to me, it's mine. So that's the difference between a normal game and an NFT game. Uh, you might think, oh the graphics aren't so good, well that's because I, I put my specs onto um, high, you know, you can go epic, cinematic, even. Let's try that. Cinematic. But I, I think that is... I saw that there was a um, motion blurring. Let's go to continue. Not sure how the performance is going to be. Now you see much slower performance if I move my it's like let's go into if I pressed escape go into photo mode it's taking a long time to have that off I don't know, I don't really think it's, you know, you can have cinematic if you've got a really, uh, high-powered computer, I guess, so it's just early access stages, so, of course, these things are going to improve. Um, and I see a lot of people who saying that, oh, it's like Star Citizen. It's like Star Citizen. No, Star Citizen... was just a generic computer game. And it, it, it took a lot longer for them to get to this stage. And this is like after a year or so of development. And it took Star Citizen a lot longer. So anyway, you can open this thing. your little hangar bay. I mean, you've got your main one there. You've got your main ship there. That's the ship I'm most proud of owning right now. I'm sure there's other people with much better ships than I have. Um, where's the little place where you come in? What's that? Oh, look, I can go in the elevator. Floor's not available, yeah. Let's go to floor one. We'll run around here. We've got some statues and stuff going on here. It's with all the different factions.
What's this? Showing various schematics. I'm sure that's gonna be... Here you can go in and... Um, I think you can look at different uh, ships in here. You can say... Oh, you know, bits and bobs. It's like a shop, you could probably come in here and look at different stuff. It's just like an example. It's early days, early days. But it took Star Citizen a lot longer to get to this stage. Right? And yes, you can jump off the balcony. Here, this weird looking contraption over here is what you interact with to, to um, do what you call it. You interact over here, so you go to ship pad, and I go the only the ones that I own. So it's this one, this one. For, for some reason, they've given you this. I'm not sure if they're actually giving you this in the game. Um, this for this thing I've got it outside so far so if I was to choose this one I'll set it to be that one and uh, this is obviously um, not you can see they've not finished the design and the everything is just like early stages much smaller ship costs less money and uh, Let's just go outside where I've put all of the ships that are available for me right now. Um, and you might say, where can I get a ship? Well, yeah, I'll put the description in there. Uh, this is the, like the free ship they're giving you. I'm not sure if that means that you actually be able to fly around in this ship, whether the game gives this ship to you or not. I certainly don't have it as an NFT. The way that I got the axis here is you're staking the ships. And it's what it says is like, it says that they have been, the fleet is being utilized. Um, you, um, it's like uh, in the, on the site. Um, so here's the, um, the same ship that I just loaded. PSX5 or something. This one is the one I had in the beginning, the, the PSX-6. Um, which is a, either small or a medium ship, it's not extra small, whatever. And here you have this little thimble airline little motorbike. I guess you're going to use this to ride around the cities or something like this. Or do, or do racing or something like that. Um, so there you go. And this I only just came across today, and I think they just released this whole thing today. And it's basically for if you've been staking your ships, if, if you well, just like you stake cryptocurrency or like with Ethereum or anything, you can stake, stake these NFTs. And it has, it gives you in-game utilities and in-game currencies and, and uh, other things and gives you the, the in-game credit, like Star Atlas, you, you are mining this by staking it, proof of stake. And uh, you do that on the website, uh, Play Star Atlas, I think it is. Um, I will put it in the description of this video. I don't know how... Um, we can go and have a look ourselves right there um, but I just thought that this was really good I mean, apart from the motion blur 
I, just, I was just very impressed by this. Um, just a brief look at, the, at a hanger. It's not the hanger. It's a hanger. It's an example hanger. Don't look at this and think, oh, this is it. This is a game. Eh. It's not as good as Star Atlas. Eh? Like this, it took it took Star Atlas a hell of a long time before they had any type of demo for you to walk around it. Okay, this is uh, this is incredible progress uh, for the time that they've been working on this. It took Star Atlas years and years and years to get anywhere. You can teleport the main hall, you can go to the balcony, you've already been there. Where else can you go? You've been there, been there, balcony. Been there, outdoor. The pads, the train station, the pier. Alright. Um, I just want to set the ship that I have. These are, I have staking, so you see it's rare. Here's six. Small class is small. If you looked down there, you can see the class was small. It would be cool if in the actual game that these schematics on the sides changed along with the ship. So if you had the PS whatever, PS6 there, that it came up there with some information, etc, etc. But that's it for that. And we're going to look at the website now. So here is the website. You see here, up here, play.staratlas.com. Now you click on the little hamburger icon. We all know what the hamburger icon is. And you can click on home. You can click on uh, inventory. Oh, you don't have any. In, in. Let's connect my wallet. So hopefully I don't have to sign in because it's already there. And you have to have some soul in your wallet. It's soul based, but it's on the soul S O L blockchain soul. If you're watching this, you should know what that is. Here's my information. And the reason I have access is because here in this faction fleet, earn rewards by enlisting ships to the faction fleet. So I think, I believe my faction is mud and you have other factions as well. And this one I just put in today and you see there's no uh, medal. Here. But you go down to PS5, there's that smaller ship, it says hardened fleet because I've had it in here staking since 47 days ago. That's like a month and a half ago. And this one I've had 74 days ago. That's like uh, more than three months ago I started staking this. So it will say Harden Fleet. And then what happens, you click on your little thingamajig after you, you've got the medal, after here, after you stake your ship, you come over here, right? Basically, when you come to play Star Atlas, like, there's there's lots of different things you, you have to do. Um, obviously, you have to set up a uh, phantom. Here, this is uh, the phantom app. It's, it's a, a, like a browser extension. Um, and you have to... Um, go to when you've got that and you've got your soul in in your uh, your wallet you go to the marketplace you click on ship you choose oh i want to get this one this is the, the ps4 this is the 
this, that, and the other. Oh, I'll have this one. Sellers, you look at the sellers, you look at the maybe the cheapest. Cheapest here is going to be on there. There's the price. As uh, who knows, it's about like 10 bucks or something like this 10, 10, 10 pounds. But when you get up to PS5, it's a bit more expensive, obviously. And then you have, after buying that it, from the marketplace, you have it in your inventory, you have the ships. It says no ships, no ships. That's because they're staked. When you staked your ships, they're staked. It won't show up in your inventory, just like crypto doesn't show up in your, your wallets because you're staking, you're strengthening the network, right? So here you manage your fleet. Um, you've got in your inventory, you have like resources, ammunition, toolkits for repairing, uh, food and fuel. And you have to restock these things. I restocked today, so they're pretty still pretty high. And what happens here is, is you get a daily amount of uh, this much for this ship. And the bigger the ship is, the more Atlas it will earn each day. And I come in here like once a week and I claim and I just click on manage fleets and I just resupply everything. And yeah, when I need, and then I obviously you're going to run out of resources here. Then you go to marketplace and you go to resources, consumables, and they're all here. And you can buy, buy them here um, through your wallets. Here. This extension of Phantom, you have to look up Phantom wallet. Um, but I will put all the details like that in the description for total beginners. Um, there is a Discord where you get all your information. And I'll put that in the description too, that the invite to the Discord, um, stuff like that. So I think that's about it. I think I've been on here for enough time. And... Um, if you're involved in Star Atlas, it's, you know, congratulations. And um, it's looking really good. Stop comparing it to Star Citizen. It's totally different. It's totally it's different technology. And it's, it's imagine, it's like a, a it's like a, the, the rate of which the development is coming along is not a comparison, but it, it's apples and oranges in the beginning. It's a blockchain game. It's using blockchain technology. It's connected to the blockchain. It's connected to NFTs. It's connected to cryptocurrency. It's a play as you earn. Okay. None of those things, as Star Citizen is in none of those characters. The only similarity is that there's big F off spaceships with big F off hard points to blast other ships out of the sky. That is the only sim similarity. And the fact that this is in development and still Star, Star Citizen has been in development for God knows how, now, 10 years, maybe. Oh, oh, not 10 years, maybe five, whatever. And it's just going nowhere. Is it? They, they just can't finish that game. And really, I think that the, the mo majority of people who were interested in it have lost their interest. And... Uh, it's too late for games like that. I mean, this is the future of gaming. You know, you don't you don't have to be stuck inside all day doing. You know, you can just do little bits every now and again. Depends how much you want. If you can do an hour a day, or you can do twenty four hours a day, it's up to you. It's your choice. No one's forcing you to sit down and play a game, right? It's down to personal choice. So. That's that. And farewell, Star Atlas pilots. And hello, sorry guys, I forgot to, I got carried away with my explanations. 
you click once you've connected your wallet you have to sometimes it just um disconnects while you're doing stuff it's kind of annoying but you just press on this and connect it again simply disconnects automatically you don't have to keep on typing your password in anyway here's your profile uh, i'm not sure if they've got very good um choice of avatar um don't have an organization you're joking me uh anyway this after you've after you this is where you find after you've been here this is hardened fleet because it's a long time of, right you only have to it's, it becomes hardened or a veteran veteran after one week so you don't have to be here for 74 days just one week or two weeks maybe oh no it's such a long time to not even think about the game and then come back to it after two weeks of doing something else like normal stuff in your real life anyway and you then you get the uh, medal on the side you get the medal you may not say hardened but you will get a medal and then you come up to this tab, there'll be this tab here. And this tab, I've already redeemed the code. So even if I press on it and you get the codes, the, the codes have already been redeemed. And it's just codes to then enter into. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that. Epic Games. Anyway, here you are in Epic Games. You've logged in. And you will go down to redeem code and you press on there and then click copy paste central on your keyboard. It's the uh, central and V that's copy paste. If you didn't know, and then what will happen is you go to your library, go to your library. After that, yeah, it was very complicated. I wasn't told any of these steps. I had to find it all myself. Then you will have this. After you've redeemed, you'll have this blue figure. I guess it's one of the factions, okay, in the story. And um, uh, it will say install there, underneath that. You install that. And then when you come in, to the actual game it'll ask you to um, this is very important when you're setting up your phantom wallet here your phantom wallet there um, when you set that up I'll put the link in the description uh, if you haven't done it already but it asks in get when after you've installed the game the first time you go into the game it'll ask you to connect your wallet it will say um, import it will give you the the option import wallet or, or not and then you will choose to import and you should have written down your 12 word mnemonic pass phrase which is, is a, a number of words put together 12 or 24 you will have uh, with this phantom wallet ex extension thing i think it's a 12 just a 12 word phrase or random words, mnemonic, mnemonic, with a silent M at the beginning. So and you can use that, or you can find out your uh, your your private key. I'm not going to go into that now. Um, uh, that's about it.